Hey guys, Andrew here bringing in another fresh installment of 2 Minute Tech, the segment where I do or talk about something techy in about 2 minutes. On the menu for today are APUs, what are they, what can they do, and are they viable in today's PC environment? First of all, an APU, an acronym coined by AMD, stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. APUs differ from normal processors in that they include a CPU and a GPU on a single die. So kind of like mashing a processor chip and a graphics card all in a small convenient package. Intel uses a similar strategy with most of their chips in which they integrate graphics as well. Intel's offering on the graphics side are usually a bit more vanilla than AMD for basic users, but they serve their purpose just fine. I'm talking about web browsing and YouTube videos here. Intel's dominated the market for so long that they kinda had to invent their own crappy version of an APU so that customers didn't accidentally look at AMD chips. But then came Ryzen, and the processor market got all shook up. Yay, progress. Now we have the Ryzen-based APUs with Vega-based graphics, but does that mean this chip is for gamers? Well, luckily, I did some research in regards to this thanks to the myriad of tech tubers that got review samples. There just happens to be enough data out there to make a few conclusions on this matter. The general consensus is that the Ryzen APUs perform about 4 to 5 times better than Intel's integrated graphics offering. That being said, any system with a dedicated graphics card is going to completely blow any APU out of the water. Now how does that translate when playing games? Games like Overwatch at 1080p at medium to high settings are completely playable, but slightly more demanding games may prove difficult. Luckily, some of these problems could be fixed with driver optimization, but overall, stick with medium or low settings. Fun fact, APUs do not have dedicated VRAM. Instead, they rely on regular system memory for that, and as such, they benefit from having faster clocked RAM, something Ryzen already cared about. On to use case scenarios. I think chips like these really shine in the small form factor PC space. PCs like HTPCs, or perhaps for even an affordable home server, or even in a basic home computer for mom and dad. You could definitely benefit from the price and above average integrated graphics. But tell me what you think. Are there other scenarios in which APUs would shine? Let me know in a comment down below. Thanks again for watching this installment of 2 Minute Tech, and I'm signing off.